happy to be joined by John Harper and John Jastrzemski. And guys, you saw the numbers, you heard Showalter and Bassett. They were both comfortable with Bassett starting that seventh inning Sunday. But Harp, did you agree with the decision to keep him in? Yeah, I'm okay with that, Maria. I, I mean, look, he's done, he's proven he can go deep into games and he, he can be good when he's got a high pitch count. And, I, you know, you, you got I think you also have to take into account that this, this Mets bullpen just isn't that deep. And so I'm more than uh, okay with him going, him going ahead and let Bassett decide it. I mean, I don't like the pitch selection there with him walking the guy with the breaking ball. I mean, you got to go after him if you're in there. But uh, I, I think that's the right call. Leave him in there. It's 1,000% the right call because of everything Buck Showalter just illustrated. The idea that he had extra rest, he's going to have extra rest the next time out. And it's not like the Mets are working with like a triple threat of lockdown relievers going back to the days of like Stanton, Mendoza, and Mariano Rivera. Right now, Edwin Diaz is the only guy in that bullpen you can trust. Chris Bassett's throwing a whale of a game. I want him to go and dictate the terms of that game, I don't game, like Maria. that pitch, though. I don't like that. No, I didn't love the pitch either, but I yeah. love the decision yeah. of Harp. Let him go pitch, Let for goodness sakes. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Sound logic, and to your point, Seth Lugo was not sharp. He, uh, after not giving up a run in nine of his last ten appearances before uh, Sunday, he had th those struggles. Uh, so, J.J., are you still confident in Lugo? Not really, Maria. No, I'm not, because the guy that we saw in 2019 – that was one of the best relievers in all of baseball. He has not been that guy. I know you mentioned nine out of the last ten. He's been pitching a little bit better. But it's not the same command that we've seen in the past from Seth Lugo. And that's why, Hark, we're going to be talking about this for the next month. Yeah. The Mets need to go and get not just one. They need to get two-plus quality arms that they can put in that bullpen. Because outside of Edwin Diaz, you give me the laundry list of names, I don't trust any of these dudes. Yeah, well, I like Drew Smith for the most part, but it, you're right. Yeah, they're thin there, no doubt about it. And uh, with Lugo, Thursday night he was really good. He looked like the old Lugo. I, I even uh, tweeted that maybe the best way to use him is multiple innings and then give him multiple days of rest. But uh, he had multiple days of rest, and he came back, and he just didn't have it. That's been the, the problem. He, he does look like the old Lugo at times, but just not enough. So, uh, it, it, you know, that's the thing. Buck just doesn't have a lot of guys to go there. So that you're right. they got to go find uh, bullpen help at the door. He's deadline. just not been as consistent. No, no, and I think moving forward, too, Think about McGill when he comes back. And I know he's got to get back and he's got to be right, but McGill could be somebody when you could get be. Scherzer yeah. back and when you get DeGrom back, maybe he can go and pitch the seventh or the eighth inning for this team. Peterson might be able to help him too if he's out of the, if they get everybody. He's back. a guy to give you more too. length though, right? Like maybe, you could see McGill yeah. kind of being in like a short reliever type of dude. He's got the stuff to do it, yeah. But I like how you alluded to maybe some early trade deadline discussions for the Mets. Get used to it, Maria. A lot of that coming <laughs> oh, we up. Got, we got plenty of time. Don't get ahead of yourself. 